Hey guys, today we decided to take an adventure with our four-legged furry friends and we came to Lutz's Greenhouse. We live in Ohio so they have these amazing Halloween things and I want to share with everybody. They have all these cool amazing Halloween decorations. I definitely like this uh, tall skeleton they have. They have things that are animatronic, things that light up. This thing's cute right here. You just push a button. How cool is that? definitely want one of these so this is just one part of the uh, store we're gonna head out to the front so I can show you the beginning part in the little gift shop area so when you first come in they have a gift shop area over here they have, a, they have these cool spiders so we're gonna go back in the gift shop area they have a mixture of like um, Thanksgiving, Halloween, and some Christmas. But after the Halloween season ends, then they have a lot of Thanksgiving stuff. And then they come out with a ton of Christmas stuff. Out here they have these amazing moms and they're pretty reasonable in price. Like you can get a eight inch mom for $5.99. And then you can move over to where you have the hanging moms for like a hanging basket and they're $19.99. So I'm going to pick up a variety of colors and then they have the bigger ones that you can either just leave in their beautiful pots or just um, transfer them and they're only $19.99 and then they have slightly bigger ones over here which is what I like and they're only $29.99 and look at how beautiful and big these mums are and I bought some last year and I've had great success with mine. They have a lot, a lot of Halloween decorations. Um, they have these little um, pumpkin uh, things that you stick in the ground. So they have like a lot of things that you can stick in your ground, um, like say for landscaping purposes for decorations. But I'm gonna come over here and show you these cute little buckets I'm thinking about grabbing. You can spend a lot of money here because you can go crazy with all these cute decorations. I like these little farm Stead buckets with the mums in it, but I absolutely like these pumpkin buckets. But I think what's really, really cute is I think I definitely have to have a Frankenstein one. These are super adorable. They have different colored mums. These I would just set on my table on my porch. I have like a coffee table and then I have an end table. And these are only $24.99. That's not bad for cute decorated um, pumpkins. So I'm going to go back into the greenhouse. This is Let's Greenhouse, and I live in Ohio. And they have these cute little tall scarecrows. So we're headed back into the back part of the Let's Greenhouse because this is where all the fun, cute decorations are. I'm just going to walk down here real quick. My husband pointed out a few things he thinks I, I'm going to like, so I'm going to check them out. I like this little skeleton welcome sign. They have things that like this that you can put on your door. That's actually what I'm looking for, something for my door. I definitely want a spider. I found a skull with the eyeballs that light up. These you can put candles in. So they sell these individually in here too, and you can put your own mums in there. But for a few dollars more, you might as well buy one with the mum. This is cute. These are solar lights. I definitely think I want to get these. So we decided to bring our um, four-legged furry friends with us today. Uh, one of them decided he didn't want to wear his pajamas. So he took his backpack and pajamas off. These things are cute if you just want to put it like on your desk. Like at home in your office. Or a window seal. That would be definitely perfect. And if you look carefully, they got different expressions on their face. Like this one looks like he's covering his face. And they're only $11.99. They're really, really cute. 
He's covering his eyes. He's laughing, covering his ears. We got little mummies that you can put in your windowsill. So I'm, they got all kinds of like homemade and handmade things. They even got baskets like this that you can probably put a mum in. I'm gonna continue on down. Then they have still some uh, welcome signs from like summer. This one, this one's nice. It's tall. I like how tall it is. And I, I love this for like my back porch because I don't have a lot of room on my back porch. And they have these cute little cemented things that they had left over from spring and summer. So if you love kitties, you can put a planter in there. But I have my four-legged furry friends over here. So we decided to do an adventure with them. We weren't home all day yesterday. So we decided we're going to spend the day with our four-legged furry friends today. They went and got puppy cups at their favorite place, like Dunkin' Donuts. So then we decided to take a ride out here with our dogs. And they still got some spring and summer stuff left over that they're selling with the Halloween stuff. And they got fall decor as well. So I'm going to move on. This is adorable. I love this bicycle. You could put like a planter in it. This would be perfect if you have a ranch porch. I have a ranch porch and you could just put a little bit of flowers in here. That would be perfect. I love these umbrellas. This is something you can either hang on your ranch porch like on your railing. Um, they have like a log up there with a little birdie on there. Same thing, you can hang these things by your house or on your porch. This is a nice woodwork welcome piece. So we're going to scurry on to the rest of this place. And then they got some decorations up here. So you really, really got to look when you come here because they have a lot, a lot of decorations like hanging up. They're on the side of these walls. Um, I glow in the dark. Oh, so this glows. That's amazing. That would be kind of cool to see. Then they have this thing. This is actually a decoration too. I think I want to get these skeletons, honey. And just put them on my window seal. Or if you want on the mantel. I love this book. Beware of the Wicked Witch Lives Within trick or treat my dogs did not like the banjo playing I really like this witch these spiders would be really really good to put on the hay bale kind of like this my husband and I bought this truck last year and we put all four of our dogs on it these creepy fingers how amazing is this? Oh my gosh, look at the skeleton. They got even this could go like on the railing of your front porch or even in your house on a wall. But I want to show you these cute little lanterns that I think I want to get for outdoors. I think it would add really nice decor. Not only it's Halloween y, but they light up. These are little lanterns and they actually light up. It's battery operated and they're only $30 a piece, but you could get different colors. You got purple, orange, you got like a clear white, and then you have green. And if you put them all together, it's just going to be an amazing display. We got this truck last year and put all of our dogs' names on it. They will personalize. So I'm thinking about getting this because we have four dogs and there are four pumpkins. They got a lot of amazing stuff, so I'm going to go out to the greenhouse here and see what all flowers they have for the fall. That little Sonny waits for his mama. He doesn't like me to go away from him too far. He has to keep an eye on me. Okay, my husband's going to show me something that he thinks he, that I'll like that I saw. What were you showing me? I like these little potions they have. They have something called spider legs. And then they got something that says um, witch warts. And they're in these funky little bottles. These are pretty cool decor. Tabletop decor. I like this pumpkin. The sign says, yes, the wicked witch does live here. 
I love that skull because my husband pointed out how there's a crow on top. A crow, right? <laughs> then they got these fun little things too. Once again, if you have a nice window seal or you can just put them on your porch or your table. Just these fun little decors. You got some ghosts, pumpkins. I absolutely like this tall skeleton. He's $70. This year they got a lot of cool new stuff. And I love these spiders. You can put them on your hay bale. And then I was eyeballing this. This lights up too. But I was eyeballing these cute little witches. I wouldn't I wouldn't personally put these outside. I put them like on like if you have a fireplace with a mantle, a nice little table. And then I love the sign park your broom at the keep sit and spell. I'm kind of confused on that statement, but unless I read it wrong. At the keep sit and spell. Sit a spell. Sorry, I can't read little trinkets you even got these little wishing walls with the skeletons in it and then I love the dog little trinkets they have look at that I think I like this sign though that would be a good back back porch sign hello fall I really like this one I wish it was a little bit taller but I really like this one I wonder if it would hold up outside Oh, and I was eyeballing these buckets out there. So now we're going to head out to the greenhouse. This is where the magic happens. So they do these raffles here. And they're still setting up. But they do these raffles. And you just buy your tickets. And then you put your tickets in the bucket. And you can win whatever number you bid on. So I think I'm going to do that. They're five dollars for eleven chances, but it goes for it's like a proceed benefits go to Akron Children's Hospital and Northeast Ohio Adoption Services. See, they got some Christmas stuff out here already. If you're a fan of gnomes, they actually have one with a bat and one with a kitty. Now, I never been a fan of um, gnomes. I never really been a fan of the the uh, gnomes, but they're cute. Look at these big fall sunflowers. So you can intermix. You can either decorate all fall or intermix your fall and your um, Halloween. So I've been looking for something for my door. And I and uh, the way that my door is, you can't shut the screen door if you have a big wreath or something like that in there. So this would probably work perfectly. So I'm thinking about getting something like this for my door. That's really what I came to look at. I have a lot of decorations that I have to get out today. So one of the things that we have to do when we get home is mow our yard, weed whack, and all that fun stuff, blow our leaves, but we want to bring out our fall decorations and our Halloween decorations while it's warm out. There's another spider. So we're getting raffle tickets because it goes for a good cause, and it's only $5, but you get 11 chances to win one of these fun things. I don't have a sunflower, but I'd absolutely love to win the scarecrow. So we got our raffle tickets. We're going to put it in here. I know the first one's going to be the Scarecrow. So here's some more raffle items to choose from. I kind of like this cute little welcome pumpkin because it's small and petite. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put one ticket in there. I like number 12, but I don't really necessarily need something big, but I'm going to... I'm going to continue on and look. I like the scarecrows. I really like this because it's a little red truck and I absolutely like little red trucks. So I'm going to put one in there. Yeah, my, my husband wants me to do 38. So we did this guy here. So we got a lot of pumpkins. We got a lot of skeletons. So I'm going to find something we don't have. My little helpers here trying to help mommy pick some items out. Here's some Thanksgiving items. These are some things that we don't really actually have that I wouldn't mind. I think I like this cute little turkey. So here's some Christmas items too I wouldn't mind bidding on. There's stuff on the other side too, right? 
So I'm gonna go on the other side. I really like this cute little um, choo-choo train, but this uh, Merry Christmas sign is really cool. I kind of like that. I think I'll put a ticket in on this one. So as we're walking, here's some more um, pumpkins. We have a lot of the pumpkin ones and the fall ones, so I don't really need any more of these. So I'm looking for something for my door. Um, and I'm not really looking for anything Christmassy yet unless it's, you know, we, we just win it from here. But I don't have a lot of Thanksgiving stuff, so I think I'm going to bid on some more Thanksgiving stuff and a few Christmas items. My husband pointed out to this one. I really like it, so I'm going to bid on this one. Cool. So I don't have a lot of Thanksgiving stuff, so I think I'm going to do these pilgrim people. All right. So they have, a, and then they have more Christmas stuff here. They just have amazing stuff. They even have these cute little um, outdoory. We we got the Santa stop sign last year, but they got these cute little fun things for your door, like your welcome signs. But um, I don't need a lot of Halloween stuff because we we got a lot last year, and you only got so much room and so much storage uh, space. But my husband really likes this watering can one, number 102. So I'm going to bid on 102. And here's some more. And we already got um, a red truck, but one thing that we don't have is the Hello Fall. So I think I'm going to bid on that. My husband was looking at that too. So number 116. And that completes our um, bidding. But it goes for a good cause. So whether we win or not, it's going for kids. That's the important thing. So I'm going to continue on. So they give you these little stubs you got to hold on to. And you do not have to be here when you're bidding on anything. They just call you. But I absolutely come here because not only for just the decorations, but you find these little things. And you can get a mad, you know, you can use your imagination. You get creative. Um, you can even put your own mums in here. You, they have them out front where you can put mums in. They're slightly cheaper if they're empty, so this one's like $23, and I believe the one outside was like $25 with the mom, but they just have different things, like I like this, this is something I'm considering, that's not bad, it's $40, so hubby's going to take my four-legged furry friends out, they look like they have to go potty, here's some more Christmas stuff, a big snowman, but right now I'm into the fall pumpkin season. I can't believe we're into Halloween right now. I love the beauty of Halloween. I love the beauty of fall. But I just don't like what comes around the corner. And that's just the cold and the um, snow. I like the warm apple ciders, the caramel apples. All the fall fun festivities is what I enjoy the most. Some more pumpkins, some more gnomes more pumpkin decorations. I'm going to go down this aisle. I just love these type of things. Local farm fresh stuff. Pumpkin patch. And I love doing the um, corn mazes. The pumpkin patch. Passing out candy for the trick or treaters. Dressing up. You know all the fun parties you get to go to. At friends houses that have Halloween parties. Or even throw one yourself. I love these. That's definitely for fall. Halloween and Thanksgiving so you can kind of use that uh, three different ways so you can leave that out a lot longer this is cute you can just put some flowers in there and hang it but I love doing all the fall fun festivities and activities here's some more decorations here I like this to put on your door this could even be hung up on your door happy harvest that could be a door item too. Actually, that's not bad. That's only $12.99. Some more uh, pumpkin decorations. So they have aisles upon aisles. Then they have some Thanksgiving stuff out. You know, I feel like Thanksgiving just comes and goes and gets missed. Everybody focuses on the fall. Uh, every Everybody focuses on, like, you know, o October month of being fall. Oh, I absolutely love this. I may have to consider this because this is a, another Thanksgiving stuff. But I feel like people just forget about Thanksgiving. Oh, that's beautiful.
the people just missed that holiday and so um, I, I kind of want to get a few decorations you focus on getting all your your Christmas items and your Halloween items and then Thanksgiving just sort of gets missed and then you don't find a lot of the Thanksgiving decorations because they put them out with the Halloween when you're trying to focus on your Halloween Oh, sounds like my babies are back in. They must have went potty. So I, I have seen a lot of um, Thanksgiving decorations here this year where they didn't have a whole lot. So when we came back to actually buy for our Thanksgiving, they were sold out with the Halloween stuff. I mean, I would like to get this for Thanksgiving. We kind of miss Thanksgiving. We have a lot of Halloween stuff, so I'm looking for fall and Thanksgiving stuff. And my four-legged furry friends are back. They must have had to go potty. So I think for me, even though they have all this wonderful, wonderful Halloween stuff, like this doesn't say Happy Halloween or Happy Fall, so you can kind of use this for Halloween, Fall, and Thanksgiving all at the same time. You could even have them personalize it if you want. They do do personalization. Now this is cute. So I don't have a lot of fall decorations, so that would be something cute to put out for fall. And it's actually hard to decorate for fall because right around the corner is Halloween, and when it's still nice out, here's some Thanksgiving, you want to hurry up and decorate while it's still warm out, at least in Ohio. We live in Ohio, so if you're in a warm state, you're, you're blessed. I would love to be in a warm state. I'm not much for winter anymore. I feel like my body can't handle it anymore. Oh, the scarecrow has a tie on it. How cute is that? Some more pumpkins. If you're a gnome person, I got a lot of these gnomes. I love these red trucks. Those are my favorite. Now, we don't have a yellow truck, honey. Happy harvest. We might have to get the yellow truck. We don't have a yellow truck. We have a red and a gray, a black and a blue, I think. So we're getting down more into like more of the harvest, the Thanksgiving. This is a pumpkin patch. I love it because it does look like a pumpkin patch with the, the little fence. So I'm looking at these because we don't have anything for Halloween. Is there tags on these? Can you see it? Because I couldn't see it. So they have these pilgrim people. My husband's looking at the pilgrim lady. And I think I want to pick these up for Thanksgiving. Along with this cute little harvest blessings. Because there's... There's not much. And they sell them with the Halloween stuff. Here they are. Okay. I think these might be slightly bigger. But I could be wrong over here. You got a pumpkin patch sign. You got a big old turkey there. This store is amazing, you guys. It's called Lutz's Greenhouse. Now, they have a sister one, which is a pumpkin patch, but they have all of this stuff with it. I definitely want something like this with the pilgrim people and the harvest sign. Just because we don't have much for Thanksgiving. So, I'm thinking about coming back and getting uh, all of our Thanksgiving stuff. This is cool. We don't even have anything like that. That's a little corn on the cob. Well, I call it corn on the cob, but like corn cob or whatever you want to call it. These are new. They weren't here last year. Some of these reminds me of Thanksgiving. There's my four-legged furry friends. They're out on an adventure with us today. Some things you can hang up. The little red truck. Those are kind of cool. I like these cute welcome signs they have this year. They're, they're really skinny, so if you don't have a lot of room, that's not bad. So if you don't have a lot of room. So we're going to go back out and look at the mums real quick. So they have these buckets with the mums already in them, but they have them for sale. Slightly a little cheaper without the mums. So you can put other flowers in there. 
there's this thankful basket and it's only $26.99 that's not bad they have a sunflower seeds bucket my four-legged furry friends waiting for mama what's that So we're back out front where all the mums are. So I think we're going to continue to look on and decide what we want to take home. I'm thinking that I want to get a couple of these things. I like how big they are because I have a ranch porch at home. So I might be picking up some of these from my porch. But this is Let's Greenhouse. My, hu my husband's putting my four-legged furry friends up to let them rest and get them some water. They had some puppy cups, but he's going to go get them some water. And then he's going to come out and help me pick out some mums. And then we're going to continue our venture with our four-legged furry friends. We have two um, puppies at home that we need to go back home and pick up. They're just, they're they're really not good with going to places like this. They're, they're, they're fun dogs and we enjoy them, but we do other stuff with them. These two behave in places like this. So we're going to take our other dogs for a walk and probably play some ball with them when we get home. I think I gotta get a couple of these. But this place is amazing. So if you live in Ohio, I'm at Let's Greenhouse near Salem, Ohio. Yeah. yeah, we're near Salem, Ohio. You can even like put several different mums just in a big old bucket like this, how they got it displayed. I love this scarecrow. So if you do live in Ohio, we're near Salem, Ohio. Um, down by, what's the fair that's down here? Uh, Canfield. Canfield Fair. We're, we're more by Canfield Fairgrounds. Um, um, and if you're not from Ohio, you're missing out on this gorgeous, gorgeous place. Hopefully you guys have something like this. But I went on to share our adventures with our four-legged furry friends. Um, they got their puppy cups, their happy puppies. And they love going on adventures with mommy and daddy. We were gone all day yesterday. Uh, we went to our local amusement park, Cedar Point. I did vlog Cedar Point uh, for the Hollow Weekends and the festivities that they had there. Um, so if you enjoy my video and my vlogs, please subscribe to missy and ted's adventures with our four and that would be number four legged friends hit the subscribe button and click on that bell that way you get any new content uploaded um, for our future adventures uh, we take our dogs on a, on adventures a lot today's one of those adventures we take them with us and then we're and then follow me later uh, we'll be doing some more um, adventures with our two other dogs. So we'll have all four of our dogs together. But if you're a October fall enthusiast, this would be definitely a place that you would want to come visit. I get excited for the fall fun activities, but I don't get excited for the cold. It's a little breezy today, so I don't get excited for the coldness or the damp weather. I, I'm a flip-flops girl and I don't like wearing jackets. But these mums are beautiful, so I think I may pick out a couple. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's this greenhouse, how amazing. So if you're enjoying this, please hit the subscribe button at Missy and Ted's Adventures with our four-legged friends and click that bell. I'm going to look around and see what I want to take home and decorate my house with. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. I'll leave it up.